Journey Sunday Schoolers. I hope that you're doing awesome. I miss you, and I hope that your first couple days, first couple weeks back at school, ah, I hope that they have been awesome too. Um, and I hope to see you soon. I hope to see you for, for worship on Sunday. I hope that you'll come to our outdoor worship, um, or if you're not comfortable doing the outdoor worship, uh, join us and tell your parents to join us online, right here online at, uh, at 9.30, outdoors at 9 a.m. here at, uh, at 9.30. We're gonna, we're jumping into a new theme or a new series. Um, and uh, we're gonna talk about spiritual beings. I'm pretty excited about that. We're going to talk about God. And we're going to talk about other gods. And we're going to talk about angels. We're going to talk about demons. We're going to talk about spirits. We're going to talk about those kinds of things, which are pretty interesting. Sometimes that might be scary. I don't want you to be scared. It's not anything to be afraid of. But today, uh, or for this Sunday, as we're getting ready for this Sunday, we're going to talk about this really awesome psalm. Psalm 8. Now, psalm... The book of Psalms is a collection of 150 psalms. What's a psalm? Well, what does the word psalm sound like? The word psalm sounds a lot like song, right? Ah, right? When we, when we sing in the psalms, the book of psalms, it's 150 songs that were recorded. Now, the problem with the psalms, they were written such a long time ago that we don't have the music for them anymore. But we're going to today and on this coming Sunday, we're going to look at Psalm number 8. The 8th Psalm. It's a really awesome psalm. It talks about you and me. It talks about God. It talks about our relationship between one another and our relationship with God. How we, how we interact with God and so, I'm going to read for you Psalm number 8. Now, I'm reading from uh, this Spark Story Bible, um, and I'm on page 159. 159 of the Spark Story Bible is Psalm number 8. Now, all of the Psalms are not in this Bible, your, your Spark Story Bible. All the Psalms, 150 Psalms, they might be in your mom and dad's Bible. Um, but Psalm 8 is, uh, is in our Spark Story Bible, so I'm going to read this. And then you'll be ready for the coming Sunday. So, ready? Here is Psalm number 8. And it starts with this title. It says, Praise God. What do you see here? You see moon. You see some stars. You see this dude here. That we see a lot in our Sparks Bible. You see some stars. Praise God. The moon and the stars. The moon and the stars, they praise God. Woo! That's awesome. So Psalm 8 says this, there are lots of poems and songs called psalms. This one, this one is special. It starts out like this. Hooray for an awesome God. God made you and me and everything else. God made you and me and everything else. And then we respond back by saying, God, you are so and strong and creative. Everyone thinks so, even babies. When I look at the sky at night, I see the moon and all the stars that you have made. It makes me extra glad that you care for me. You ask us to work with you to help take care of everything that you've made. And you've given us a job to do, God. You want us to care for the earth and everything that lives in it. All the animals, and the birds, and the fish, and the animals in the sea, too. And it ends right where it starts. Hooray for our awesome God. God, you made you and me and everything else. Hooray for an awesome God. So we're going to start with when we think about spiritual beings. We're going to think about how God made the sun, the moon, the stars. <laughs> and how, uh, how each of them, you and me and everything else, were created to praise God and to serve God and to love God. Friends, you already got a leg up. You already are advanced ahead of your moms and dads for coming to church on Sunday. Because you've heard the text that we're going to look at. 
Hud Sunday, Psalm number eight. What's a psalm? It's a song that we lost the music to. La, 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 la. We lost the music to that psalm. But the words are so very important. Hooray for our awesome God. God made you and me and everything else. Hey, we'll see you for church on Sunday, nine o'clock outside, 9.30 right here in your pajamas. We'll talk to you soon.